Stephanie Henry, thank you very much. Always doing an amazing job letting us know what's going out on the uh, roads. Let us, um, just for old Lang Syne, can we get a shot of the Gardner Expressway back up here, please? Like, I, I don't know if it's possible. Sorry to put people on the spot here. And they can probably picture it in their brains, too. They can. Yeah. But a bunch <laughs> of cars not moving. Every, yes, no, well, I'm not necessarily this time of the morning. Not necessarily this time of the morning. But the Gardner, uh, th these are one of the last few moments before the garden, there it is, in all its beauty. Mm. Look at the cars moving. Look at them moving. There's, there's, there's headlights on. Yeah, the wheels are rolling. Wheels when are I, rolling. When I yeah. see that, I think sexy. Mm. That's a sexy expressway. <laughs> look at that. And look at that. a different oh, look yeah. of the Gardner. Look at the curves. Look at that. that. A expressway. different expressway. Well, <laughs> get used to not seeing that, folks. Because I, and I think it's important to show it because as Tammy's been mentioning and, and as was in the headlines all of yesterday, uh, Monday, things are changing on the Gardner Expressway. The next phase of construction on the Gardner begins Monday. It's expected to cause consumers pain until 2027. Lane restrictions along the western portion between Dufferin and Strawn are the reason here. One lane in both directions will be closed up until the middle of next month, with the eastbound on-ramps at Jameson also closed at times, forcing vehicles to stay along Lakeshore. All lanes will be open over Easter weekend, the FIFA World Cup, and basically that's it. Those are the carve-outs, I'm not kidding, that were announced yesterday for this major, major phase two construction project of the Gardner Expressway. There are two ways to look at it. One, my holy God. <laughs> Two, it's an old thing that needs a paint job here and there. And when I say a paint job, I'm underselling it. It needs more than that, obviously. Mayor, where do you land on what will be a huge pain in the rear end for a lot of commuters in the GTA? I mean, I think I think we all just need a moment <laughs> to really take in what this is going to be because there's been talk of it. You know, there was even talk of it, and we talked about it on the show, but we didn't really know when the date was yeah. going to happen. And now we know. And so I think we're grappling with uh, a bit of an existential crisis as, as drivers in the city. But, you, you know, you said it right. On a more serious note, those are, those are things that have got to get done. I just hope, and I, I've said it before, but I'll say it again, I hope that when they do begin work on it, that they work on it. All the way through, all the time. We don't want to be sitting there on the gardener and seeing those lanes blocked off and nothing happening. So that that's my fear. To that point, the schedule, and Tam, correct me if I'm wrong, the construction schedule is a Monday to Saturday schedule. Sundays, you will be seeing no one out there, correct? Should be, yeah, empty. At all right, so that one day, you will be losing your mind. <laughs> the rest of the time, you're going to see people out there from the morning till late at night. You're, that's going to be part of this. Mm -hmm. But Devo, again, you're an in-the-city guy. You're, you have a different perspective of this. Where, what's your take? <sighs> yeah, someone lives downtown. Like, I think about the East End and when they took out the, the end of the Gardener down to Lakeshore and everything. That still wears me out. Right? I still yeah. feel like I'm going to drive over the edge. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I still have to remind myself. Yeah, yeah. the Gardener ends, you have to go up the DVP and that's that. That's it. Otherwise, you get off at Jarvis. My concern is you close things down without giving me another option. And that's what's continued to happen with the construction in this downtown core. You start ending things or you you're taking away options and you're just giving me one. And that's it. And now I'm sitting there for what well, takes you 40 minutes to get on the garden. Well, that's it. Then you're sitting on Spadina. Like yeah. that every artery. Spadina, yeah. Jarvis, Jarvis, Sherburn, Lakeshore. You can't even get on. I'm hitting cushions. That's how upset I'm getting. <laughs> um, you can't get on the highway in the first place. Uh, the same thing's happening on the east end with all the, the Ontario line construction that's happening there. It's you got to give people options. So now with all these lanes closed, what am I taking? Queensway? Mm. Jumping on the well, lake they shore. Did, they did say yesterday in the press conference they're gonna they're gonna tweak the the traffic lights a bit. Oh, specifically on lake. See, that's what I want to listen. I I you, know I mean, you you know this road. I know yeah. this route very well. Yeah. This there's six phases to this construction. I understand that. I I I travel under the gardener every day to get here. It feels like it's being held together with scotch tape. Yeah, it's not a good visual. So I get this. I 100% get this. But let me tell you something. If you're coming south on the lakeshore and you want to make a left turn, I don't care about you. I want to see green on lakeshore for three straight minutes, east and west, while they do this. No exceptions. If you want to tuck around.
Watch your quick right, make sure it's safe and go. If you make a left coming south on any of those arteries, I, you are relevant to me, to the greater good. I want to see three minutes of greens on Lakeshore all the way up. What, are you taking Parkside Drive away from us? Yes. Yes, I am, Meredith Shaw. Parkside, yeah. Because if you're going to take the gardener away from us, we need something else. And Lakeshore sitting right there saying, please use me. I'm very helpful. No, Just make sure, sure the green is sure sure a trap. Yeah. Make sure it's a trap. It's I bee think, use. I, yeah. Yeah. I always feel like it's more helpful. And then I get on. If there are greens up, it's very helpful. Yeah. Well, it's it's very Toronto, right hear me yeah. out. Hear yeah. me out. Anyway. It's just you got nowhere to put that volume. That's that, the problem. Well, that's the issue, too. It's numbers. Literally, it's math on that. And I'm not good at math. I just know that it's going to take you a long time to get in yes. and out of the city. That's the math I know. I was told there'd be no math with this Sorry, shit. Sorry, Mississauga. <laughs> no. I'm not even laughing. I can't even get across Boy, this the city. morning. This morning she's getting better. I can't make better. fun of him. Yeah, he is. I have a feeling this is not the last time we're going to talk about this. It's 7.30. Don't worry, your taxes aren't going to that No, one. Okay. no. Are, well, there's I an know. upload with the province. Anyway, I'm, yeah. there might be. 7.30. You're watching BT. Damn. Good morning. A quick break. A quick break, and then we go to 10. Oh, yeah. Hey. Roll up to win is back with new and exciting prizes. Play on the Tim's app today.